Hello Comrades, and today I will be reviewing, I guess, reviewing the uh, Bumpmaster 760. I know it is American uh, pellet rifle, but you know, it, you can't really get Soviet pellet rifle because I don't think that exists. And Russian pellet rifle also probably doesn't exist because in Russia you probably just want the regular gun. Because you know, I don't know. Oh, it's just the easiest thing to get for now. But yeah, I've had this for about over a year. Uh, this was on safety, but it also doesn't have anything loaded. So, yeah. That probably shouldn't dry fire it. But yeah, um, the Pump Master 760 has a little BB compartment right there, so you can hold like uh, copper BBs and stuff. And um, here's the lever to pull it back to get the. Um, usually, you're supposed to fire pellets. Which are better for target shooting and stuff. And I'd also say, uh, with, uh, what is it? Shooting other, like, animals, like squirrels and shit, because I hate squirrels. Squirrels are, like, my worst enemy. But yeah, here's the, uh, safety. Obviously, you probably know what this is. It's the trigger. Here, this is what you do to pump up the gun to get the air for, uh, firing. It's actually very cold outside today in uh, where I live. Some of you might know, some of you might not, but it's very hot where I usually live, so you know. Obviously, it's kind of cold, even though I'm wearing a full entire fucking tracksuit. It's still very fucking hot in this thing. So, you know, it's kind of hard to actually be comfortable out here, which is, you know, not too fun. So, yeah, um, I'll get my thing out so I can put the clip in it. Sorry, this is taking so long. I put it in a bag, one of my Soviet bags, Soviet gas mask bags, it works pretty well. Uh, I'll put these in my pocket instead, yeah, that will be a lot easier, and I'll just put the extra rounds in the bag, that's why I should keep them from now on, there. Usually you're supposed to load it in this way, but I load it in this way because it's easier to, easier to pull this thing out with the uh, little, little push or pull thing, I like to pull it. Pushing is a bit harder for me. I don't know, for some reason. And yeah, now we can shoot some cans. Because these are some capitalist drinks. Put the safety off. Oh, it's over here. Uh, I should probably move the camera back so it's a bit harder. Yes, jingling of little, little bullets. So little pellets. If I miss from here, I'm probably. Probably because of the scope, it is not zeroed in, so it is very hard to aim with this. I'll try with the iron sight instead, because I really like the iron sight. Just put this shit in my pocket. Scoop with that scope. Oh yeah, that's why it doesn't have to work. I always forget to pump this in sometimes. Take the clip out. If you ever actually, if you ever forget to uh, pump it, usually you should see if there's anything in there. Usually there should be. Shoot the trash can. Yup, shut the trash can. Pull it back out. Push it back in. That, pump it up. Usually, uh, six to ten pumps is good enough for a pretty long range like this. I mean, six to ten pumps is way overkill for this range, but, you know, it's good for shooting things at this range. To kill it if you want to kill, like, squirrels. Because squirrels are gay little bastards. Gay yeah, bastards. That definitely makes fucking sense. But yeah. Um, this gun is pretty good. I really like it. Of course, this fucking stock full plastic it is very squeaky. Not only really squeaky, more like kind of likes to make a lot of fuckload of noise when you're trying to pump anything in it. And I recently actually broke it by uh, stuffing, because I my dad had the clips. Because he took it away because I shot my old phone when about a year ago. So that's why I've had this thing for so long, you've never really seen it. First of all, because his channel hasn't been around for about a year, and I haven't had this thing for over uh, a while. And, uh, yeah, 
I've had this thing for a while, but I've never actually had it on the channel because I've never, I haven't had it for a long time since the channel's been alive. But yeah, um, with the, I would try, I didn't have the clips at the time, and, but I did have actual shots that are made for actual shooting, shooting actual animals. And, you know, they have little red tips on them. The tip fell off inside the gun because the, the, uh, the skirt on the end of the, pellet was damaged and it didn't work too well so it got stuck I tried firing it it didn't work I tried um, since I had BBs in here because right here around here from there is where the BBs are stored and they go through here through this little part right there and it, um, usually you would have a uh, you, you would have a BB go in there but since there was already a pellet in there it wouldn't fully go in so I tried pumping it multiple times and it didn't come back out and um, then it got stuck inside the gun and then I took it apart the whole entire thing this thing had the little BBs in it or the BB and the belt in there right right there and um, it did not come out so you know I took it apart we had to use a hanger well I took it apart before I brought it back to my dad's and after I brought it back to my dad's um, just yesterday we worked on it and we got it fixed in under about 30 minutes I'll probably make a review on that since there, there's absolutely I think this is the 760 Pump Master X because this isn't the actual same one so yeah my dad read it on the I think it was the box I can't really fucking see because of these glasses so yeah um with the uh yeah the um the whole thing I had took it apart and so now that it's fixed, I'm able to make a view for it. And it's pretty good. I've used this thing a lot before. I think I got it for my birthday about a year ago. But yeah. I didn't think that one hit. But yeah, I've had this thing for about a year now. A little over a year. Since my birthday is August 29th. You, might, you guys might have noticed that for um, the Kavas and Kampot video. That was made on my birthday. Same with the... Uh, no, the Kavas and Kampot video was made the day before my birthday. The video of the second video of me dancing with my new Adidas tracksuit, you know, the black one. This one's my blue one. There's some fucking dog hair on this shit. Um, but yeah, the um, the black and white tracksuit was that video was made on my birthday since my dad gave me that one. This one is the one my mother gave me. But yeah, it um. Yeah, my birthday is August 29th, and I got this about over a year ago, and I've had it for a while, and my dad probably used it, I think, when, um, when he had it in his possession, because, you know, I shot my fucking phone, and that did not work out for my phone. My phone fucking died. Yeah, the battery is damaged, it wouldn't turn on. I think the battery was, like, the internal part of the phone, it would not come out, so, you know, can't get a replacement for that. But yeah, you know, not too good for business when you're trying to have a phone that works. But yeah. Uh, I've had this gun for a while now, and I really like it. And this will be my 10th shot shot from this gun in this video. But yeah. I don't think that hit the game. But yeah. Um, I'll load one more clip. And the uh, shotgun, the uh, can. But yeah, this gun is very good, and I'll take you over to see the cans now. Well, not now, but like in just a minute. Okay, so we go over to see the cans now. Here we go. We get that one, the one that hit the uh, box. Not the box, the trash can. We have that one who didn't fall over. After like 17 fucking times of shooting it, not really 17, but you know, a bit of shooting. 
Um, this one who got hit right in the top of it. That's probably why it fell over. There's the entry hole, there's the exit hole. So yeah. All of these are the exit holes on the scan and all of these ones are the entry holes. It's pretty good. Ooh, I now have capitalist Kenshu. Kenshu. Mm, I like that. Yeah. So yeah, I really like this gun. It's a very good gun. If you ever want to spend like 50 fucking dollars on a little pellet gun, I suggest getting this thing. Or at least $45, I'm pretty sure was what this cost. But yeah, uh, see you guys later. In my next video, when I get something else that is Soviet or anything really related. Bye.